Did you know it's simple to create a web app using the OpenAI API without exposing your API key? I'm going to show you how to create a summarizer app using the OpenAI API with a React front end and a serverless back end. That way it's simple to deploy and nobody can steal your API key. Genesio is the sponsor of this video and they make it very simple to deploy serverless functions. So after we create an account, we just have to install Genesio on our machine. Then we can log in. Our project is going to have a server and a client, but the server is actually going to be serverless. So let's go into the server directory and do Genesio init. So let's go through the wizard and make sure we put the SDK in our client slash SRC slash SDK folder because then our client can connect to it. Okay, the project was successfully initialized. Now we just do npm init and now we can install OpenAI. We want to store our environment variable so we can install .env. Then we're going to create a new class using Genesio called GPT caller that we can use to call GPT. And finally create an env file. So in the GPT caller JS class, we're going to start by adding the dependencies. Then we'll create a constructor class. Then in the constructor of the class, we'll initiate the OpenAI object. Now we have everything we need to create the class and the async method that will receive the input text from the front end app. It will call the OpenAI API, then we'll send the response back to the front end. In the SChatGPT method, actually the OpenAI API, the OpenAI.createCompletion sends a request to the OpenAI API with the request text, which is received as a parameter to the function. You can see the text of NC003 model is used in the tutorial, but you can use another model as well. And then we're gonna use max tokens of 2048 to ensure a complete answer to bigger requests. So you can see the prompt summarizes this, plus the request text tells the OpenAI API to rephrase the request text. Finally, the method logs the request and the response and then returns the response. So that's gonna be used for our serverless function. Now let's go back to the terminal and go into our client folder and create a new React app. Now back in the server folder, we can deploy the backend project to the Genesio infrastructure. If the deployment is successful, we can go to the Genesio web app to see more information and logs of the project. Now that the backend is deployed, we can start the React app. Time to create the React app. So first we'll import the dependencies from React SDK and CSS. In the app component, we'll need three use state objects for the messages, request text, and a Boolean variable for the request is requesting. We'll also need to write a method for sending the request. That's what all this is. For displaying the user's input text and the response generated by the OpenAI API, we need two elements. On the left side of the screen, the generated text will be displayed. And on the right, there will be user text. This will be done in a map of the messages. And then we'll need a form with an input text text box where the user can enter the text. And for the CSS, we'll just paste that in. The code for all this is in the description. And if something seems to be not working, there may be an issue with the environment variable. So we can go over to the Genesio dashboard and then environment variables, and then we'll just enter the environment variable on this page. Okay, let's test this out. I found this article about cows that I'm going to paste into the, the message box. And then here's the summary. We now have a summary about cows. You can now put OpenAI API developer on your resume. Thanks for watching.